Hello and welcome to Chimbo's Gaming, I am Scorp and here I am using Windows on my Steam Deck. This is part of a series of videos which you can check out probably in the link above. And previously I added some epic games as non-Steam games to my Steam library. Now I want to show you how to do the same but for Xbox Store games or Windows Store, whatever they've decided to call it this week. So uh, basically the only game I've got installed is Cuphead. Uh, I do have a couple of other games. Uh, I don't currently have Game Pass, but this should work for Game Pass games as well on your Windows install. So the first thing you're going to want to do is fire up the Xbox app. And then from here, you will see your install games. I only have Cuphead installed currently, and I don't currently have Game Pass. Uh, but this should work in the exact same way, is install your game and click this triple dot and then click create desktop shortcut and then come to your desktop and you should find the icon here for some reason mine doesn't have an icon it did before it doesn't now uh, but anyway we don't really need this we're going to delete it soon but so right click on it and then click properties and in here you will see this target type and we actually need to copy this but there is no way to copy this in windows 11 and i don't think so in windows 10 which is really annoying but we're going to get around that so what we need to do is just remember this beginning of this url so it's just remember studio basically in cuphead's case and come to a and then come to a windows explorer and in the address bar type in shell colon apps folders and then forward slash and it should start auto populating as soon as you click s and there it is studio uh, studio mdhr thing so just click down and that will populate the URL, uri here and if you just then click control a and control c uh, then we can just close that and we need to now come to our Steam library and go to games, add non Steam game. And I'm going to cheat again like I did on my last video and just click something like Microsoft Edge, add that as a select program, and click on it on the menu here. Click the cog icon and click properties. And in here, just delete the starting, delete the target, and insert that uri that we've got so it should read something like shell colon apps folders and then studio whatever it is so in the, that's what it is for cuphead and i'm going to change this name to cup and head and we're going to just click x and that link should now work if we click on it but as before we don't have any nice pretty icons so i am going to once again open boiler if you need to know how to use this then please watch one of my other videos which will be linked or also watch one of Prox's videos, which uh, did the same thing, but using Linux. So, it, but it's the, it's the exact same. So once we open Boiler, uh, you will see that it doesn't list any Windows Store games here, because Boiler doesn't natively support Windows Store games. So if we click Images, you will see here, it just says Cuphead here, and there's no images there. So if we click Cuphead, so it didn't actually import anything automatically. So I'm going to, have to do it manually. So basically here, I'm just going to click some of the first icons that I find or the first ones that I like. So I'm going to click this one there for the hero, oh, which it's already populated. And, but it doesn't show here for some reason. The grid, I'm just going to click any of them. Uh, wide, pick that. Logo, that'll do. Uh, wide grid. Again, oh, that one's peed. That's funny. And icon, yeah, big picture image. So that has added most of my images, but it hasn't added the icon annoyingly. So I'm going to do that manually. So if we go to the cog icon and click properties and click here, uh, we are going to go into, yeah, see program files, Steam, and then into user data, uh, into this number, and then into config, and then grid and we are going to click all files and then we should be able to find the icon in here somewhere so that looks a little better now so that's how you add windows store or xbox store games to steam if we click play that will work but you may notice that the controller doesn't work and that's the same with epic games so oh yeah and i forgot to mention that if you do launch a Windows Store or an Xbox Store game this way, Steam will always complain that it failed to launch it, despite, as you obviously saw, it did launch it. So there's something wrong there. It's not quite right, but it's only that little error message, and you can click OK. So thank you for watching. There will be a playlist up here for more tips and tricks on how to use Windows. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.